What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we got a GMC Cadia. This is a 2012 model. And we're gonna be replacing the front brakes and rotors. So I'm gonna give you full details. We're gonna do it all together, all right? And also, I'm gonna show you the parts that I'm using and how much they cost me and why I use this brand and this particular rotors and the brake pads that I have sitting over there that I'm gonna show you and give you the part number and if you like to get it, get it, it's good stuff. I do have a little uh, demo displayed in my showcase in the front and it's cut, cut off a disc. So it's all like spliced and you can see the internal. I'm gonna show you that as well. All right, right here on the floor, we have discs, brake pads, the hardware kit, and a little display I wanted to show you. And you are gonna need a brake cleaner, the parts cleaner to clean this disc off because they do have greasings. So the disc here, uh, right here is the part number for this disc for this particular car all right so here's another demo that i usually show to the people this is electric coated paint painting it goes all the way inside the vents you see how the, it's rusted on the where the pad's supposed to sit at but in this is this is almost like six seven years old and um it, it was good that it got rusted on the where the brake pad because usually brake pad will keep that clean but nothing else got rusted all right even over here very minor so even in the inside, they do paint it right there. Only the place they didn't paint it was right there. I don't know if this was a can't be a drum, all right? But anyways, that's that. And uh, on the pad itself, uh, I mean on the box of this uh, brake pad rotors, I'll give you all the information that you need. There you go. You can read that. Slow, pause it. It's all up to you, all right? And uh, that's the discs. So here's the brake pads. So you have four brake pads. Two brake pads will have the brake wear indicator just like that so they go into a certain position hardware kit we are going to replace that it is going to come with greasing i am not going to be using this grease even if you want you can use it it's a silicon compound grease but i'm going to be using these adelco brake pads and there's the part number if you need to know but that's everything okay so we're going to clean everything out and we're going to do it all together all right so let's go on to the car first all right, so on the car, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the 14 right there. And then uh, we're gonna pull this caliper up and slide the pin out and we're gonna put the caliper right here. We're gonna probably hang it with something here. Uh, then we're gonna remove this big bolt here. This bolt, the size I'm gonna be using is uh, 13 by 16. I, I believe that's like 20 millimeter, but I'm not sure. And there's one in the bottom down here for the bracket so this one and that one we're gonna remove both of those and we share the bracket out then we're gonna clean prep everything and replace the hardware kit put new brake pads and water all right so let's start off by removing this little guy right here i uh, made a mistake this is not a 14 this is a 13. all right so i have my 13 now that's the proper one i made a mistake there i'm sorry but that's what you need 13 millimeter right there All right, so there's the 13 that came off. And what we're gonna do is now we're gonna lift up this caliper. And we might need a pry bar or a flathead screwdriver. So in my case, got me a pry bar. So all we're gonna do is gently pull this up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna move back a little bit so we can see the whole caliper going up in the air. So you take this caliper. <laughs> slide it up and we're gonna slide it out of this pin mechanism right there so pretty much what we'll do is we'll push on this pull off the rubber boot there you go this will come off and the brake pads was almost done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this brake pad here all right right in the caliper we're gonna leave it right there and we're gonna compress this piston but I'm gonna put this to the side for now and what I'll do is I'll hang this caliper it's a heavy caliper so make sure you get something that's gonna really hold the weight this caliper is heavy so I'm gonna put something right through here and I'm gonna hang it on this suspension up there so that can sit up there 
what we're gonna do next is we're gonna remove both of these bolts these are these are probably not gonna be easy to take off so you're probably gonna need a good leverage on uh, your tool and also pay attention to this little guy so this sensor was in the bottom so a lot of people put it in the bottom some people put it in the top I like to put it on the top so when I do put it so the brake pad has to have it on the top right ready to take off the two bolts I showed you in the back so I am going to be using this impact gun so I'm using this socket with the swivel the angle is terrible but I got it loose and once they're loose you're simply going to Take it off by hand. Make sure you don't drop this bracket and hit your feet with it. Just hold on to it. And it should easily come down. There you go. So there's our bracket. And sometimes this will be stuck so you can hit it with the hammer from back here and it will come off but mine is pretty loose. It comes right off. There we have it. All right, next step here is we need to clean the surface here on the hub and the surface where this uh, bracket sits, okay? Because sometimes a little bit of dirt corrosion get in there and your bracket, uh, caliper bracket will sit crooked and everything will be crooked. That will cause your brakes to uh, vibrate, pulsation, all kinds of stuff. All right, so take a wire brush. Just brush it all around, all right? Be careful, use a mask. This dust is not safe. You can turn it if you like. Looking pretty good. Even though it's not gonna be shiny, it's all up to you. You wanna keep scraping it? You can keep it going, all right? There you go. You can do a little bit here so the bracket can sit flush. And over here, Some of your parts cleaner just spray on it and then just let it dry off give it some time while it's drying off we can back up and we can uh, remove the hardware kit here use your pry bar or a flathead screwdriver these come right off all right just like that and then Take your wire brush, just give it good cleaning. This one looks pretty good. If it's really corroded, use a file to get the rust out of there. Sometimes you'll have a rust. This brake dust is not the safest thing, so be careful, use a mask. There you go, it's nice and clean, looking good. All right, so, Few things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go get some greasing. We're gonna put light coating of greasing here, here. Same thing here and here. We'll grease up the pins and we'll uh, compress the piston later on. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this silicone grease right here, and uh, I'm gonna put a small little tap in each place. A little bit right there, a little bit right there, a little bit here, and a little bit there. All right. And then you can use your finger to move maneuver it around. That's all you need to do. This is gonna permit squeak, all kinds of noises. Okay, it's gonna help, okay? It is gonna help, definitely gonna help, all right? All right, next, we got our hardware kit. So you're simply gonna take one at a time. Just align it, everything should align. 
and it should just go in flush. Make sure it's not too far in because then it'll scrape on the disc. So do turn your hub once you're done to feel any if there's any uh anything rubbing. All right, so that looks good. Let me put the other one in. And after that, we're gonna go pick up our uh, rotors, clean them, and bring them on to the car. All right, there you go. Looking good, perfect. All right, and the brake pads are gonna sit, and this is gonna work like a spring. All right, so we do need to clean the disc, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your cleaner, spray that on, just give it a good wipe, give it another touch, use a different area of the rack, and give it a good wipe, and then you're gonna switch sides on the rack, same thing on the opposite side, One and two, all right? Do the same thing with that other disc, and I'm not gonna be showing you that one, but it's the same process on the opposite side. All right, one more thing we need to do is we need to put a little bit of greasing here. All right, just the top of it. And you can rub it all around with your fingers. Or use the brush and what this is gonna do is this is gonna let it sit nice and smooth for the disc is gonna give a nice smooth mating surface to the disc and the hub all right so looking really good we're gonna take the disc and put it on all right so here comes the disc and we take this disc you can this one did not have a screw usually you will have a screw right there so if you want to line it, if you have a screw make sure you line that right there and that will go on. And after that, if you like, you put that screw in, that will hold it for you. If you don't have the screw, you can take one of your lugs and just screw it on. And that's it. All right, so what we're gonna do next is, you take this bracket, you slide it on, And you're gonna put this bolt on and this bolt on make sure you tighten this bolt if you need torque specs send me a message all right so I am gonna torque this and there you go it's all hand tight but it's not tight so make sure you do tighten it Alright, so the torque spec is 129 foot-pounds for these big bolts and this these two 47 So if you didn't move the top one, it's 47 and 47. All right, so anyways Let me get this thing tightened up and then we'll put the brake pads in compress the piston and put the caliper on All right, so what we're gonna do next is All right, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this caliper down from up here Make sure you always take this off. I have seen these stay behind. All right, so very simple procedure here we're gonna compress this piston but what I like to do is I like to clean the area okay the boot and everything just give it one little brushing all around if you want to put some Doverty 40 on it or greasing take your old brake pad place it right there this is a dual piston so you could use two C clamps or if you have a special tool. But what I like to do is I like to pull one here and the other side I just squeeze it with my hand and it goes in beautiful. So let's do this together. We'll take this and I'll put that right there. Let me get my tool to start working because it is an old tool. All right, once it grabs on, you push. go all the way in and once it goes all the way in it will start to assist the other piston from going in also you can even switch sides so let me try that all 
once you're done replacing the brake pads, make sure you pump your brake pedal before you start the car because this piston needs to retract back a little bit to grab onto the brake pads. You will not have brakes if you start it right up and try to stop the car. It will. So there you go. The piston is all the way in, nice and smooth. So let's take this off. All right, so here's our brake pads. So again, this little guy is gonna work like a spring, okay? So what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your brake pad, put that in, and your brake pad should go in easily, okay? You should not have to force it in. So this brake wear indicator has to be up, okay? The reason why I like to keep it up is when you go in reverse, it's gonna make some kind of weird noise. So it's gonna give you indication, okay? So there you go. Like I said, brake pads should go in smooth, all right? Little bit of light coating onto the brake pad, not too much, a little bit there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean out the pens here. I'm gonna go get a rag and we're gonna put a little bit of greasing on this. All right, so a little bit of greasing here. All right, if you put too much on it, just like that, just rub it against the other one and. You don't want too much either. A little bit more on that one and a little bit more on this one. The silicone grease works best because it slides and smooths. It makes contact and less noise. All right, we're gonna slide the pin in and we're gonna put the caliper on. You might have to push down on this a little bit. And then you're gonna take your bolt here, the last bolt that you have here, and tighten that up. Make sure you tighten it. I already gave you the torque specs. One thing I want you to pay attention is, so this is not tight. I'm gonna tighten it torque, man. You're not gonna see me do that. But make sure your line is not twisted. A lot of time people will put a caliper up, they'll twist it around, and the line will be all twisted. So make sure your line is nice and straight, okay? So guys, give a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe, share it and like, we'll see you in the next one.